Wow. Oh my God. That... Oh my. Woohoo! Hello everyone. Today is going to be pretty epic because I'm back on the MTB quad bike. This is actually one of my favorite bikes to ride because it is so ridiculous. So I've decided to come to one of my favorite local riding spots. This is Danbury Common and we're going to put this bike through the paces and see how much abuse it can take on these MTB trails. So I think we should start things off right away on these two sort of small jumps in a row here because that's going to be a nice bit of abuse as a little warm up for it. Let's get into it. Here we go. Oh yeah, perfect. Oh, oh yeah, a bit of steeze then. Oh. <laughs> oh man, I love it. Brakes are backwards though. Forgot about that. Almost crashed just trying to stop. Let's look for a really steep hill to go down. All right, I'm going to drop in this hill then, a steep one. We've got a huge crew here watching and filming with iPhones, so loads of angles of the crash if it happens. What way are the brakes again? Uh, oh yeah, cool, here we go. Oh no, oh god. Oh, 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 it, wow. Oh my god, that... <laughs> that was so scary. The scariest bit was actually riding through here because it doesn't even fit. This thing's the best. First bit of damage of the day. This mud guard might fall off now, look. Oh well, adds to the good sound it's making. I feel like just doing a wheelie on it because it's so ridiculous to wheelie. Let's go down there a little bit, find a good spot for it. I've come over now to the perfect wheelie location. It's a small decline going that way. But before we get into that action, my limited edition grips are here and they're exactly the color I wanted. Look at this, fluoro. It's like a lime green sort of epic color to match the MT7 race lines and the forks that I've been spraying recently. So there's not many of them and they are available now in the store. Up here somewhere, there's a little link or in the description. So let's, oh, and you might be wondering why I'm not gonna fit them to this bike. Well, look, it's so funny. The, 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 <laughs> the, the, the like bar's way smaller and it's got this like weird bend in it. Look, halfway, can you see that? Yeah. So strange. So I'm gonna have to keep with these dugongs, which isn't the best. But anyway, let's get into some wheelies right now. <laughs> Let me do it back up. Oh, that is so much better. <laughs> oh, that's so good. On my way down there then, I noticed that there is quite possibly the best drift zone ever. Oh, yes. <laughs> Oh man, drifts are literally the best thing on earth. That one was kind of fun, but then at the end it slows down. I'm gonna come this way now, drift up this sort of mound and then down this way so you'll have more speed and more excitement and fear. <laughs> feels like loose though. I need to do some maintenance. The wheel felt, oh yeah, whoa, look at that. See that? That's so bad. Let's try and give that a fix. Oh my God, it's so loose. The wheel's literally falling off. It's so funny. Oh no, the whole thing's moving though. Maybe if I, oh no, it's just what it is. That's annoying. Okay, we'll keep going then. And hopefully the wheel doesn't fall off mid-air because probably wouldn't be that fun, would it? Let's face it. 
There's a pretty big jump behind you there. Let's potentially see if that's sendable or not. I've said it now, haven't I? And you're there filming. That run-up's ridiculous though. This bike is actually wider than the run-up. <laughs> uh, okay. I'm just going to full send though, because I feel if I case, it's going to be worse for the bike than clearing it. Let's get it. Don't want to bend the bars, so full send. Oh, oh yeah, that's so good. <laughs> that was proper air. Oh, the bars moved back a lot. I only get a steezy one-hander. Yeah! Oh! So free ride! Whoa, one-handers, that is such a free ride beast. I'm now going to see if I can table it better than I could on the tricycle right now. Right, George is next to me now. He's going to show us how to tabletop properly and then I'm going to try and beat it on the quad. Get it, George? Oh, yeah! What a steezer. Here we go. Can I be more steezy on a quad bike? Who knows? Oh my, no I can't. Oh, oh, I felt the bars bend as I landed then. That was absolutely so horrible. Something was so breaky then. Oh my God, yeah, look how, look how bendy the bar is. You see that? Oh, that's so scary. That was horrible. George? George? George! Oh, he's gone. George won, though, on that <laughs> little game. Right, the bars are now bent. It sounded like it was going to snap, but that isn't going to stop the fun. There's a huge, steep hill over there in the background. I'm going to ride down it. Simple. Here we are, over at Scary Hill number two. Sending. Oh no. Oh! Ooh. Oh! <laughs> yeah! Might have a little problem here. Look, that sign says public bridleway. It says people, bikes, horses are fine. But that second photo clearly shows a quad. And it says no. I'm breaking the law today. It's now time to head up to the top. Louis's going to chase me down one of the trails. I'm going to see how fast I can go on this. Let's get the GoPro on. This is our towing method for today. Oh, so good. Works the dream. Bring an e-bike, get your quad out, and you can send straight back to the top. See? Oh, that pinged off then. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, look. That just pinged off. Look at the wheel. You see that? Oh, yeah. The whole, there's no, <laughs> there's no bolt for it. That's ridiculous. Oh, I don't have another bolt then for that. It might last then. Let's just send, I'll, I'll push it up to the rest of the top then. And then we'll send just and hope it doesn't snap. Just before I was about to drop in, I told this crew that I didn't have a bolt in the wheel and then Harry here, absolute boss found a bolt in his bag and tools this is so good let's see if it fits then we can send so so hard oh my god yes definitely not going to come off now you're the man do you um want the world's first pair of luminous yellow pill grips for your help. Oh, yes please. As I said earlier, these don't exist. You're the only guy with these oh, now. hell yeah. Thank you. Cool. Yep, thank Thanks. you very much. Nice one. Thanks for the bolt. It's all right. Let's smash a lap on it. <laughs> what you have to do when you get free grips that's his celebration <laughs> after harry helped me fix my wheel i'm now going to do a train of all this squad 
and it's going to be super exciting. So go on boys, lead on. Let's get, let's send it on the quad. Go on mate, get it, get it, yeah. That's the kid that beat me with the style in front. Oh man. Oh. Oh my. Oh my. This is ridiculous. I'm actually keeping up. Come on. Into the good bit now. Full speed, full fun. Oh. Oh. Woo. Oh man. Yeah. Woohoo! Yes, the bars were so bendy then. Oh, oh man. Ooh, not far off these guys. Ah. Yes. Woo! That's so good. Nice one, boys. High fives all round. Yes, yes, yes. Virtual, virtual, virtual. <laughs> that was the dream. So, I was actually keeping up with the squad. <sighs> Quad biking, the future. Oh my God, that is so fun on the trail. But like, as I was riding down then, the bars were bending so much, I could actually feel it. So, this is actually unrideable until I can get some sort of new stem for this because if you look here, the steerer tube is actually a centimetre wide. <laughs> That's so strange. So I'm going to have to try and find out who makes these and then get the new part to fix it. I'm now back at the van. That is the end of the session. I'm very happy that Harry turned up and help me to fix that little bolt there because we were able to get some good runs in. But that is unfortunately the end of the video. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. That'd be awesome if you leave some comments and it'd be sick if you subscribe. See you in the next one. <laughs>